we have another new beer from Sainsbury Supermarket, but this time we're going to Mad Squirrel and their Aztec Mountain IPA. But what's it going to be like? And what the hell is a Mountain IPA? Keep watching to find out. Welcome back to Rucker's Beer Review today. It seems a bit like a broken record, but we're going back to Sainsbury's. More supermarket beers trickling out, and this one suddenly appeared. This is from Mad Squirrel. It's called Aztec. It is a Mountain IPA, 6.2%, and it is single hopped with Idaho 7. So, Mountain IPA, what's it all about? Well, I've had a few Mountain IPAs, and to be honest, most of them have been pretty good. Uh, and they have been in the supermarkets. We had one from um, Salt, and I think it was Fierce, that was called We Welcome You to a Hop Off. That was a Mountain IPA. Another one in um, a Mountain IPA we had in Morrison's, or oh, a long while back. I don't even remember if it was from North, maybe North. I can't remember. But a lot of the Mountain IPAs I've had have been in supermarkets. It's not a style that's out much, or certainly not advertised. You know, sometimes you'll get an IPA, and it is like a Mountain IPA. Um, and what is it? Well, basically a Mountain IPA, if you think of U the USA, you think of the map of America, you've got the East Coast, so you've got New York and, you know, all those areas, New from New York down to Florida on the East Coast. And on the West Coast, you've got basically all the way from, from you've got from sort of Washington State, Oregon, California, that area, that's the West Coast. So you've got West Coast and East Coast. And in the middle... Well, I mean, you've got lots of stuff in the middle, but in the middle, you've got places like Colorado where there's mountains. And basically, a mountain IPA is a combination of an East Coast IPA and a West Coast IPA. So the sort of hazy, soft, um, you know, well, it's, I say hazy, sort of more tropical, um, East Coast style mixed with a more, the more piney, resinous, sort of more, slightly more bitter, less hazy, West Coast style. Ultimately what you get is a sort of watered down version of one of those really. So we've had some before which are more like a West Coast but slightly hazy, or we've had ones that are more like a pretty much an East Coast with a slight bitterness on them. But to sort of say that they're a half and half West Coast and East Coast is stretching it a little bit more. So that's what a mountain IPA is. Sometimes you see them advertised as no coast IPAs. Mad Squirrel, now they're a Nottingham based, I think, brewery. We had a beer in Sainsbury before called Roadkill and, oh no, it wasn't Roadkill. I think it was a, a mango IPA or it was, and it had like loads of hots. It had loads, and then it had mango in it and it just didn't quite work. Um, but this is obviously a single, as I said, single hopped Idaho 7. So Idaho 7, yeah, a lot of the sort of hazy IPAs, I mean, Polly's themselves use Idaho 7. It's, it's used quite a lot. I don't think it's necessarily much of a sort of a West Coast sort of uh, hop, much more f predominantly found in East Coast. And obviously one hop, so maybe they change the, you know, what the, how they use the yeast or the malt or whatever. So I'm not sure how they make it more mountain IPA. But let's crack it open, get it in glass. I do like the can. I like the squirrel motif that they have, the mad squirrel motif. And obviously it's got this uh, Aztec sort of theme on it. So maybe Aztec, mountain, maybe it's more, you know, I don't know, New Mexico. I, I, I wouldn't even say that, really. Let's get it in the glass and see how West Coast or East Coast or mixture between the two this is. Well, certainly pouring it out, this looks nothing like a West Coast IPA. This looks like your standard East Coast, and it's bright yellow, really thick, custard, custard in a glass. We've got two fingers and we've got you know almost like a sort of beige head it's always got a yellowy tint in it it's not as it looks whiter because the light shining onto the glass here but in in person it's got almost like a slightly yellowy tone but that color of that beer looks absolutely incredible i think this is going to be a new england ipa certainly more on that side let's see what the aroma's like yeah pretty much like a new england very tropical We've got tropical, we've got mango, passion fruit, there's citrus fruits in there. Oh, it smells really, really good, actually. There's lots going on. There's a slight, 
I would say I certainly don't. I wouldn't say it was a resinous or, or or a piney sort of aroma, but there's a an earthy aroma. It's almost got that sort of slight sort of verdant, savoury sort of signature sort of aroma. So I'm looking forward to this now. Let's see what it tastes like. Cheers, everyone. Mm. One thing I'd say, this is a very good beer. I'm trying to, if I, if I dismiss the mountain IPA side of things, is a very good beer. It's smooth, it's creamy. It's almost like a slight chalkiness to it. It's got a lovely, smooth, creamy, velvety almost body. Flavour-wise, you're getting a big hits of mango, stone fruits, bit of apricot in there. There is this earthy, sort of almost chalky, like a, a flavour that's a little bit weird. It's quite dry. And that goes into a slight bitterness. It's, th there is an element of West Coast. There's something more to it than an East Coast. And I don't know whether it's just I'm trying to I'm trying to find what those things are. But it's that sort of chalkiness and then that dryness that sort of goes into a sort of a slight more bitter than you'd normally expect from an East Coast. Yeah, I can't get over the fact that it has got this almost chalky like flavour to it. It's very, very strange. But you're getting you are getting big hits of mango and then you get apricots. And it's got a slight and it goes into a quite a a dry bitterness really, which is very similar to say, you know, like almost almost like that sort of the sort of sensation i would say on the taste buds is almost like when you have sort of a a very dry lager you know a german sort of pilsner that sort of that sort of um sensation really where it dries them or dries all the mouth out and you go oh, i'm really thirsty i'll drink this thing that's in front of me and then then obviously it, it carries on i think if you would had more than a couple of these that dryness is would sort of um would get to a point where you just get really sort of thirsty it's it's got that is part that is what i always classify with a west coast it's definitely got those west coast elements so actually although it very much looks and certainly smells and and the mouthfeel is definitely very east coast it's got this dry bitterness on the back end that's very very west coasty um it's not really i mean the, it's almost like this dry bitterness that doesn't really have a flavour. Sometimes you get that sort of dryness, or the, the certainly from the bitterness, you get you, you you may get the piney sortness or the a more resinous sort of feel. Sometimes on the when you get a bit more bite and bitterness with an East Coast, you get more sort of zest of grapefruit, sharp grapefruit, lime, those sort of flavours. But you're not really getting a flavour. You're certainly not getting a fruity sort of flavour with that. You're just getting this dry bitterness sort of um, aftertaste, really. And I think there'd be a lot of people there that would go, well, that would drink this and go, that's just what I'm looking for. Sometimes, you know, these East Coast sort of beers, they're very, very drinkable. And, got, and I really like them, but there's no, there's no bite in the back end of them. You know, a lot of time they just sort of, they have all the juice up front and then it just sort of washes away at the end. But this has definitely got juice up front, big stone fruit flavours, mango, passion fruit, apricot coming in there quite sharp earthy sort of fruits flavors coming in as well and then that sort of develops into this dry bitter flavor that's um that just gives it a little bit of a sort of a, you know a back end bite really makes you know that you're drinking a beer and it's not as hot, i suppose not as um fruity and refreshing and zesty as you would expect from an east coast so so i would say yeah they tick the box in terms of uh of a mountain ipa i think this is spot on yeah idaho seven it's got one of those sort of characteristics where there's a it just it's almost one of those sort of hops that almost feels like a, a hybrid of a few different hops we've got you know like it's got that earthy sort of element that you get with um uh with with simcoe it's got that sort of little slightly black tea flavor in there which sort of gives it that earthiness as well but this has got a real sort of dry business on the back end it's a good beer and 
obviously in the new Sainsbury's beers, and whether it's a, we still don't know whether this is a introductory op offer, but this is just three quid. I mean, it's a very good beer for three quid, and probably one of the best mad squirrel beers I've had. So see this one, give it a go. I'm interested to know if you've had it, if you've had it already, if you've already seen it, or if you if you have it, you know, weeks after this video goes out, days after. Let me know what you think because. I think it is. it does hit the style really well. It's got that sort of earthy, it's got that backbone that you get much more with a, with a West Coast beer. But it has the juice, it has the mouthfeel, it has the sort of, it has the colour of an East Coast. I mean, you don't see many West Coast beers looking like this. Nice lace in the glass, smells good. Nice, juicy but then hitting hard hitting earthy bitterness. I think if you're if you're more of a fan of West Coast, you'll think this is a really good beer. If you're an East Coaster and you like the East Coast, you don't like that bitterness, that dry bitterness that you get, then then maybe you'll find that a little bit too earthy on the back end. But but I think it's it's a good change for me. It's a good change for East Coast. And it's 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 like it's almost like if you're not a big fan of West Coast, I'm not a massive fan of West Coast, it's almost like you're dipping your toe in the West Coast on what it could all be all about. I won't want to have too many of these because I'm already my throat is drying out. I'm not getting that refreshment, but I'm getting bite, real bite of, of a proper beer. So, um, yeah, let me know what you think if you've had it. I think it's not bad. Let's get some scores. Okay, the scores are in four. Aztec. This is a mad squirrel beer. It's a mountain IPA and it lives up to his name. So let's go through the scores. Starting with aroma. Appearance. Flavour. Value for money. Overall experience. And that gives a recommended total score of yeah, it's good. I mean, for me, it's not quite my style, but I know it's a good beer. There's definitely a lot of a lot of stuff in this beer. It doesn't taste like a supermarket watered down beer. It's a very good beer. If you like the West, if you like a bit of East, if you like the combination of the two, I think you'll get a lot of enjoyment out of it. So that's enough for me. Please give it a thumbs up if you like the video. Uh, if you're not a subscriber, please consider subscribing. Lots more videos. As I say, they're sort of drip feeding a lot of these out. I've still got a couple of Sainsbury's to go. And dare say, by the time I've done this video, um, they might have launched some in Morrison's, might have heard new ones in Asda. Tesco may still launch in a couple more. So there's still plenty to go. We're coming into the summer. So obviously it's a time where the supermarkets get those craft beers in. So until the next one, you know what you do. Drink good beer. Keep on rocking.